Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zoom. I'm Dr. Abstract, and it's summertime. Can you tell? <laughs> so, what are we going to make at Zim at ZimJS.com? How about a synthesizer? So, we'll go into the code section here, hit copy that template. We'll reduce this down, and we shall paste the template into <laughs> the search section. And we shall paste the template into Adam. Alrighty. <laughs> and we'll call this a synth in five minutes. There we go. Yeah, seem good. We'll change this up a bit to call, put it on a dark. Uh, this is just the template. We're not really coding here. Close your eyes. There we go. So we're making it on dark there. We're bringing in Zim. This is ZimCat. ZimCat's got an extra message saying that we're now working in seconds. And then we're, redu we're removing, we're reducing down the template. There we go. So it says, put your code here, and we are about to code. How's it looking for you? Are you all ready? Shall we hit? What are we hitting? Let's hit the timer. Woohoo! There we go. Okay. So, do we see any time? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's do it const how about tone we'll call it is equal to a new synth dot tone so synth is the class and we're calling the tone method right on that that gives us a tone well it gives us a reference to a synth that is running a tone and then we're going to say const dial is equal to a new dial We'll make it have sound colon true. That that sets its styling so that it looks cool for sound. Sound has a whole look to its own. And we'll give this a min of about 100. This will be the frequency and a max of, say, 600. This is the frequency of that tone that we are going to dot center that dial. But we're also going to dot wire this to the tone and uh, we're going to wire its frequency. So this takes the place of an event that would just say, hey, when, when the dial changes, please set the tone's frequency to the dial's current value. That's what we just did there with the new ZimCat and wire. And let's save this up and open it in a browser and see what we've got. So, look at that, isn't that neat? So hopefully that's coming through for you. I think it is. Okay, alrighty, uh, it's coming through for me. So I'm gonna put that on pause and let's make a volume then. Uh, volume's gonna be roughly the same, I suppose. We could do uh, we could do a dial if we wanted to, but let's call let's do a slider and uh, sound true on the slider as well. A min though this is the volume now, so we want a min of zero and a max of uh, 0 0.5 is probably fine. <laughs> uh, you could put one or two there if you wanted to. Uh, great, and then we're going to wire up the tone there that we made with the synth to the volume this time, like so. And let's try that out. In, oh, we need to not only center it, but we better move this over. This will turn, this will turn uh, vertical. Uh, the sound is vertical. So we will move it zero, oh, no, minus, I don't know, 150, something like that, in the X and zero in the Y. There we go. We can drop that down if we want. And we'll save this up and check it out in our browser. A little bit close and a little bit starting at zero, so. Uh, very nice. Okay. So there we go. That's that's a synthesizer, I suppose. Shall we, I don't know, copy all this stuff? We could probably do a second tone if we wanted to, but uh, as in on the same synth, we could have done a second tone. But just for now, how much time do we have left here? Three minutes just for now. I'm going to call these two and two and two. Slider two. And what else do we have to do to the two? We'll center it. We'll wire it to the tone two. 
We'll do frequency and volume, but we're going to take this and we are going to say uh, const one is equal to a new container stage width stage height dot um, loc at a say something like minus two hundred and I think zero will be it and we'll put this up here. Oh, we got one minute left. I just want to do two of these because it sounds cool with two probably anyway. And let's center this on one. So we're making two containers. And we're just going to move the containers over. And then I can copy that container, patunk, and uh, call this two. And we'll move this a plus 200. I don't know if that's going to be enough. And we'll center it on two, like so. And let's see what we've got when we open this in the browser. Two of them. So now they're both up. Oh, yeah. All right, let's stop that timer. <laughs> Did we just make it? Isn't that neat? You can go crazy. Let's make some beats. All right, uh, there's all sorts of things that you can do with this. You can change the type of sound it is. You could um, change the tremolo and vibrato and the wah factors of it and make keyboards and, uh, you know, come to zimjazz.com, click on the cat, and then do some exploration. Zimjazz, well, I may as well just show you that, I guess. That's here, zimjazz.com, the main page is Zim. F11, and click on that cat right there. And if we pop on over here, here's an example of a synth. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, for for Chrome and mobile, you, you have to interact with it before you get a tone. So you'll want to add a button like that. And here we are with some buttons and sliders. If you like, going a little bit mad. And uh, then there's also this other one just on the way a little bit. That was a, a show, showing about Wired, uh, that thing that we did with Wired right there in the five minutes. And then here is one where you get to play different notes. So you've got different notes down here at the bottom. And you can add vibrato. Isn't that neat? All right, so you try that those out if you want. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been dum da da dum 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 da dum dum a code in five minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. Come on by to zimjazz.com slash slack if you're interested in finding out more about this. We'd love to see you there. Ciao. Have a great night or day.